Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, we died again! Or, well, inadvertently caused the end of the world, I guess, or something or other happened. So, yeah, in order to progress with the plot, you actually, yes, you do have to accept responsibility for other people stealing... Yeah, stealing the elemental stars. Kidnapping people and... Brutally, well, I guess they didn't directly murder people, but their actions caused a lot of other people to die. So, yeah, we should probably try to stop them. Well, put one leg in front of the other and move. I mean, what else is there to it? Ah, uh, nice and symmetrical. Wouldn't it make more sense to send capable adults to get the job done? I would think they would have immensely stronger synergy than we do. And besides, it's not like Mom has a family to take care of outside of Isaac. Well, good job, guys! Get him! What power? Oh, okay. Well, we've been kind of isolated from the rest of civilization, so... Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. So... Are we going to get moving? <laughs> yeah, w well, I would imagine that the bad guys are heading there, so that would help. Jin? What do they do? By the way, the word Jin, at least in this game, is plural. We'll go over that whenever we run into them. That's... Well, hopefully that'll be enough. Can you give us a discount on the, at the weapon shop or anything? Well, okay. Goodbye. Can we get moving then? Or are we going to stand here and talk for a little longer? Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Whatever works for you guys. Just cheer us on from the sidelines. We'll be okay. Probably. Oh, well, it's a JRPG. What did you expect? Well, you guys could get up off your ass and go. How about right now? Oh, or tomorrow. Isn't that going to give the bad guys, though, a lot of time to get a lead on us? Besides, it's still daylight out. But, okay, we could wait until tomorrow. Or, well, now it's the day. Yeah, they blew up the volcano, and, well, now we're kicking them out. Banishing them from the village. How dangerous could it possibly be? It's not like the game's that hard. Don't they have any cats around here? It's a JRPG, come on, you gotta have kitties. So you got any farewell gifts or anything? Ah, that's odd. Ah, oh, there's a kitty. <laughs> At least I think that was a cat the dog was chasing. Oh, 
Wow, there's a whole acre of you guys, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? One herb. That restores, like, what, 50 HP or something? Just one? That's it? We have to make that thing last for the whole journey? Oh. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Well, maybe she just can't bear to see me off or something. Oh, what's this? Oh, what does that do? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, we'll put that to use in just a moment, viewers. Guess again! Oh, yeah, that too. Are you referring to yourself in the third person there? Oh. Yeah, we should just let the rest of the world rot. Oh. Yeah, probably. Well, we've been doing that for the past five minutes or so. Oh. Well, Alright, let's get going. By heading right back into the village. Okay, first things first, we got a new item here. Let's see. Yeah, these let give you... Well, there's a whole bunch of items like these. But there's going to be items that can teach you a new synergy. So let's take a look at that. You equip the catch beads. And we get the catch synergy that Mom used at the beginning of the game. And that can be pretty useful for grabbing items and stuff like that. That would be out of the way. Now, I'm not going to talk to every single person in town again. I'm just going to talk to the people who have something remotely relevant to tell us. So, hmm, remember that for later, viewers. Huh? Where's that? Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for that. Hmm, seems like we have a whole bunch of places to check out there, huh? Now, I'm not going to buy equipment here, because the next town will have even better equipment anyway, so why bother? But if you talk to the item shopkeeper, yeah, you get another herb. Hooray! Now, let's see. If you recall, there was a tree in the village that had a nut in it that we couldn't quite reach. But, well, now that we have the catch synergy, we can! So, let's take a look. See if I... Oh. Okay, I was thinking I had to go up first, but no. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. I know it's on the left side of this screen. Ah, there you go. Okay, so, go into the menu here. Select what we got. Boom. We get our nut. Hooray! And let's see. One other thing I just want to show off while we're here. Yeah, I just wanted to say goodbye to you. Ah. Ah, okay. Well. Okay. Okay, I was just jacking with you, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that's all we gotta do here. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. Even though we don't have remotely the amount of HP to take advantage of those nuts. But, well, we'll need them later, so... Yeah, always hold on to your consumable items for later. But all right, let's see. How are we doing? Oh, I used up my synergy. So let's go to the synergy stone. Boom. We got it all back. Hooray! Oh, what's that thing? Can you stop flying around? Dude? What is that? It's a Pokemon! No. Now, well, close enough. I thought, well, I don't know what you are. Well, I only have enough for myself here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, I believe it's pronounced genie, at least according to the 
dictionary, so I have an official pronunciation of that word. E even though it's not spelled G-E-N-I-E, -E, I think it's the same pronunciation. So, genie is singular, gin is plural. And sometimes I might mispronounce it Ginny, but, you know, because that's how it's spelled there. But, okay. Oh, okay. How so? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Man, you guys do a whole bunch of things, don't you? Well, I, I only have so much money to go around. Buy food and everything. No. No. Hell no! Whoa! N now you're just getting creepy, dude! Pretty please? Well, hey, who, who are you talking like that to? Ah! Ha ha! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no matter what you do, it's gonna force its way into your party there. And we get a little tutorial going on here. So basically, you with Jin, you have to set or equip them to someone, so to speak. So once you give it to someone, you set it, and then you can get new synergy. You also see where it says guard and brute. That's showing you what your job class was before and after. And then on the right there, they show you what synergy you learn by setting that gen and what you lose as well. So, ah, okay. So yeah, we're going to get a few new commands here to use these gen. Well, we just got the one genie, but you know what I mean. We're going to get a whole bunch of them. I'm going to be getting every one in both games. So now you see here, when you get the genie to Isaac there, it changed the job class back for Garrett there. But all right, so now that we have a genie here, we get a new command. So when you have the gen command there, you can use that genie to unleash an effect from them. In this case, it's just raw damage, just to keep it really simple. But they do have other ones that'll do a whole bunch of other things. Buffs, debuffs, reviving dead party members. They do a whole bunch of different things. Now, one thing I don't think they tell you, though, is that if you unleash a djinn on an enemy and you kill it with the elemental weakness of that enemy, you'll get more experience from killing them that way. And that's really what I like using or unleashing djinn for. Now, once you've got a genie on standby, because we unleashed the genie there, then you can summon them after that. Or you could just start a battle with your Jin unset, or whatever the word would be for that. And you can just summon them right off the bat. The thing with summoning, though, is that it deals damage based on the max HP of the targets, and they get really, really obscene. I mean, you can kill bosses, like, before they can even do very much. So, I am banning summons 100% from the two games there, because they pretty much remove any semblance of strategy required for boss fights, or random battles, even. So, you see how it's yellow now, that means it needs to recover before we can use it again. All you gotta do, though, is just walk around long enough or whatever, and eventually you hear a ching sound, 
and that means your genie is ready to go again. They also can uh, recover during battle, too. As the rounds of the battle go on and stuff. Ah, okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. So whenever you find a genie, you get a little fancy light show. Hooray! Okay, so now we got that new genie there. Let's put it to use here. So, with each genie, you see how with Isaac, it doesn't change his jab class there and he doesn't get any different synergy? So, all you're going to get out of that are whatever the base stats that the genie can give you there. But if we give it to Garrett there, not only does it change his job class, but it also gives him, yeah, different synergy there. Although really, for the most part, I don't really worry about whatever synergy you get from uh, different job class or whatever, I mostly care about the stat boosts. And in this case, Garrett gets quite a big agility boost out of it by changing his job class there, so it will be faster than a lot more enemies that way. So I like giving the Venus gen Genie to Garrett there, even though Isaac is really the Venus elemental character. But I think the stat boost for Garrett more than make up for that but all right let's take a look around around the world map here now and if you press the l button haha -ha, yeah you can zoom out a little bit kind of like the sight spell in final fantasy 4 all right let's see these guys i think these are slightly different than the ones we met up with before yeah these guys can potentially potentially defend or just flee from the battle outright. Now, I don't want to unleash a gin to deal more damage because if you do that, you see it unsets the gin there and then you lose those stats while it's on standby there. So I generally just prefer to go all out here with my regular attacks there. It doesn't help that they're defending either. That's more like it. Now, at this point in the game, there aren't any enemies that are weak to Venus. So, I wouldn't even bother unleashing it. Or unleashing the genie there. By the way, if you use a genie there, and it ends up on standby, then just go back into your gen menu, and set the gen, and you're back in business. Oh, what's going on here? If you have any question about how to use Jin, let me know. I know it's kind of a lot that they're throwing at you at once right now. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get out of your way to Calais or San Jose. That's... Well, of course the bridge has been destroyed. Well, it's not like a really big river. Couldn't you, I don't know, take a fjord or something? Nuts. Whatever those things they used in Oregon Trail to get across rivers and stuff. Ah. Ah. I wonder what that's all about. Secret powers. Or psychic powers. Whoa! What's going on here? Well, you could try going to the east and then south. Or you could go in the complete opposite direction. Why not? Oh, yeah, we did have that volcanic eruption. I guess it's just taking a while for the rocks to come back down or something. 
Well, goodbye! But alright, where do we end up now? Ah, okay. Well, yeah, that was one of the towns that they were telling us about here. Alright. But can we find any clues as to where Saturos and Minardi have went from here? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!